Good morning, everybody. It is a little after nine. I slept till nine o'clock. For those of you who know me, know that I get up really early um, almost every day. I slept till nine. It was glorious. I feel rested. I did go to bed really late though last night. So there's that. There's so much to do today. I'm so excited about the weekend vlog. And yeah, there's just lots to do. First, I need to get some coffee though, and then we will get moving. All right, friends, we are back from Lowe's. My sweatshirt says weekend. I got it on Etsy. If I can find it, I'll link it. Um, but we are getting ready to build a sawhorse inspired console table. Total cost of this project, I have the tools and the stain and the screws. So like those like little things that I don't have to purchase. So basically I had to purchase lumber and brackets, but I bet a lot of you have these tools too at home. So co total cost is gonna be around 60 bucks, which I think is pretty great for a seven foot long console table. Also just know that I'm going to have a highlights reel over on Instagram. Follow me over there for a bunch of other DIYs that sometimes don't make YouTube videos. Hop over there, I'm saving them. There are recipes, DIYs, crafts, all the things. So let me show you what I got. All right, I am not fancy. I literally sit on the garage floor and make my cuts. It's comfortable and it's easy. I did have them cut at Lowe's this two by 10 down to seven feet because I just didn't wanna to have to mess with it. So this is already cut down to seven feet. I need to get these two by fours cut down to 27 and a half inch pieces and I need eight of those. And then I have some extra that I need to make the brace for the top with. And then my braces are getting delivered today from Amazon, the brackets. So what I'm going to do is get all my cuts made. Like I said, these are gonna be 27 and a half inches. This one's already cut. And then I want to get all the staples pulled out of this side, all of these sanded down. And then I wanna get them stained and dried. So by the time my brackets come, I can start building the actual table. So just gonna get cuts made, staples pulled, and sanding done. And then we'll talk about staining. So I have my two by 10 cut by seven feet. I have these two by fours cut into 27 and a half inch pieces. You need eight of them. And then you want two more pe well, I'm thinking I'm going to want two more pieces to brace the bottom of the table and fasten. So I sanded two of those. I prefer to sand by hand uh, with little pieces like this. Also, I really wanted to do some distressing on corners and really soften edges, so I wanted to have a lot of control over it. And now, I'm just gonna stain these um, and get it going. So I'll show you the stain that I'm using. It's one that we already had, and it is hazelwood. It's kind of like a grayish gold. Uh, I'm excited about this color. I think it'll look good. I didn't wanna go dark in the hallway because there's not already a lot of natural light there. So that's the plan. I'm gonna stir that up really good coat it on liberally with a brush and then let it sit for just a minute or two so it soaks in and then wipe it with an old rag. That's what we're doing. All right, the next thing I wanna get done really quick is I had these little hearts delivered from Michael's and I just, I'm going to give them a hit with this rust -Oleum metallic gold spray paint. I'm sorry the camera's shaking because I'm shaking the paint. Um, let them dry. I'm not gonna like overdo it. Just one coat, flip them over, coat them again. They don't need to be perfect. Hearts are drying. Lumber is drying. Steven is eating lunch. Do you wanna say hi to everyone? Hi. <laughs> Bubba's just got a bath. Bubby got a bath because he was muddy from his walk. He wasn't happy about it, but now he's all fluffy. So there's so many DIYs going. So we have the hearts painted, the lumber going. We're actually, well, I'm not doing this one. Steven is going to be installing these sconces in the staircase right here. We're gonna use our puck light trick. I got some new ones that are on a timer. Excited to use those. This is going to end up in my office as a craft cart. Really excited about it. I'm gonna make it like a wrapping station. I have like a real vision for this. That will be another video. I'm not gonna be able to get to it all. So what is happening? Let's go upstairs. Do, 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 do. So up here in this hallway, this is such a long stretch of wall. I am going to do the long seven foot 
table here. It's going to be so beautiful in the holidays. It's also going to make this, this piece is a little too heavy and dense for this spot. And I knew that when I put it there. So this is going to get cleared out and this is going to become like our little bar cabinet down in the dining room. And the sconces, oh friends, also, I thought I'd show you this because I think it's really pretty. I switched out my evergreen wreath for my front door and then got this beautiful dried olive branch wreath. If you want to see how to make this canvas and the wreath, check out my Instagram. There's a highlight for it. So that's what the vision is. Also, thank you for all the love on our little Valentine's Day decor. I am really excited with how it turned out. Well, this whole space <laughs> is just stunning, but lots of great feedback on that. So that's what's happening, but right now I'm gonna eat some lunch because we got things to do. I thought I would go ahead and show you what I'm doing for lunch today. So I have, I'm have i gonna do four Wasa crackers. This is what they look like. I love these things. Steven equates them to eating cardboard, but I do really like them. I have some everything but the bagel hummus from Wegmans. I'm going to put some of that on each of them. Now, there is a method to how you have to do the next step. Because the tomatoes and pickled jalapenos, which are the game changer for any sandwich, by the way, if you put them on after the arugula, they just fall off everywhere. So, you want to use the hummus as kind of like your glue to keeping all of this together. I'm not going to do that many tomatoes. They'll go a long way. I'm just going to have these really quick. And get them glued onto my wasa cracker. Now, I am going to be generous with the pickled jalapeno. I love spice. I put Tabasco sauce, hot sauce, literally on everything. Sometimes I'll throw on like sliced um, cucumber, just basically whatever raw veggies I have. And then I have some baby arugula. And I'm just going to put that on top of each and probably just snack on whichever ones fall off. I'm not gonna be particular about it. So easy took about three minutes to make. We had a snafu. It's okay. Like I always tell you guys in home DIYs, everything is fixable. So in moving this, the glass broke out of this door, but we can get a new piece. Luckily, all my uh, trim pieces are still there. But I had to remove one of the shelves to make sure bottles can fit and all of that. But when I do that, this thing is in rough shape. It's been painted, it's old. So I need to fix it somehow. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna hit the inside of this with some chalk finish spray paint. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna see if it works. Still working on a couple. What are you doing? Who got a bath today? Who is a handsome? Who is a handsome boy? All right, like I said, I was working on those hearts. I love how subtle this is with just them hanging here. I guess I do. I guess I do like them. I originally thought I wanted to do them on twine and have them showing, but the twine is too thick for the hole that's cut. So I did it on my filament string. All right, I do think I like it. It's really subtle. Yeah, I like it. I didn't think I liked it at first, but I do. So all I did is tuck them up, found a branch and hung them all at different heights. I love that metallic coming through and it, helps bring some more Valentine's Day decor to the space. In here, this is almost done drying. And then Steven did figure out that we will be able to replace the glass easily. We're actually going to use plexiglass in it. And yeah, it looks, it looks pretty good. Our brackets came. So they are here. I really, really like them. And I'm going to show you exactly how I'm gonna set, oh my gosh, the finish of this table 
is so pretty and I think it's dry. So let me show you how we're gonna get this put together. I have all the legs fitted in and now right here, oh, maybe let me go on this side. You can see it with the light. Right here I'm gonna go in with some screws and just attach these so that they're in there really sturdy. And then I am probably going to paint my screw heads black once it's all done. But I love the color of this, it's so pretty. All right, I'm just gonna screw all those in. The legs are done, I love the way this looks. Uh, the only thing that I ran into is I put that uh, two by four down so I can drill down into that for my top. The only thing that I am actually thinking now is I should have got shorter screws, but I don't think you're gonna see because I'm gonna paint all these screw heads black. But you'll see here, I went on this one, so then I had to go here on the other because had I gone like symmetrically, they would have hit. That was my only flaw so far, but they're spaced perfectly. And now it's about getting the top on, drilling some guide holes and finishing it up. I'm thrilled with it. All right, the tables, oh my gosh, it looks so good. I absolutely love it. I love the finish. I love the little bit of gray. The legs are perfectly even. It's centered on this wall. It's gonna be so much fun to decorate during the holidays. I know so many people have the tendency to butt things immediately up against the wall. Always leave a little bit of breathing room, even if it's just an inch. I left an inch there. I mean, I could have left more. When you push things up against the wall though, it looks like it doesn't fit. This allows it to still look really airy. I've brought up a bunch of things that I'm considering for styling. I don't know where I'll land, but I don't think this lamp is going to stay. I might use it for now. What I really envision is like a wired sconce that swivels here, and then I'm going to have to find a big piece of art for this wall. One thing I know for sure is that I'm gonna fill some of this negative space in here not centered, but definitely like a woven basket moment right there. The other thing, I really love the idea of this mirror not hanging on the wall, but kind of leaning. I love that. All right. Let me just keep playing and then I'll talk through some things. So what I ended up doing is folding an old table runner I had for years from Magnolia arranging these. I cut some of my pompous grass down that I've stored in the basement that I harvested this winter. Just tucked it there to add some texture. Then added that mirror and that lamp there and a metal candle just because you definitely need a metal to mix up some of these natural materials. That basket there, I think I really like how it feels. I do think I need like a nice piece of art for there to fill up that negative space, but I think it looks really balanced. And then I did have these beads from McGee & Co. I literally just like bundled them up and let them fall, but I think it looks really good. Thrilled with it, thrilled with it. We ate dinner and then I decided to hop in here and start styling the new bar cabinet. First of all, this color goes so well with the art pieces in here really excited about it. We definitely have to get a piece of glass on this door, but I love the black backdrop. It gives a little bit of a modern like vibe to this piece. So once we get the plexiglass cut into there, it'll look really good. Steven's going to attack that project, but I love it. It looks really, really good in here. Good morning everyone and happy Sunday. We just had Starbucks <laughs> delivered for breakfast this morning. I am so tired. I am so tired and a little bit sore from moving a bunch of furniture, all the things. Oh, I'm trying to get motivated. I really like these sconces here. Oh, yeah. um, the feedback on the table has been so amazing. This hallway is so narrow that it does feel a lot lighter. I am gonna attack perhaps an art project today, 
but I wanted to show you what I ended up doing with the bar cart here in my office. So if you're new here, this is my office. We kind of created this when we started working from home, but oddly enough, I go back to work on Tuesday in the office. But with the bar cart, it is literally made for this corner. So I have my paint brushes, all my markers, notepads, all my washi tape, my laminator. I'm sure this will change and alter as we go, but serves a really nice purpose right now in this space. I love my office. I love this table. Oh, yep. So we're probably going to attack an art project today, which will be in Wednesday's video. It's gonna be Wednesday's video. We're gonna see how it turns out. Gave myself a quick haircut this morning. Um, well, I guess it's like afternoon now. We are going to do some art project today, but it's not gonna be in the vlog, although I'm doing it today, and it'll be Wednesday's video. And yeah, we're gonna make our own art, why not? So you might see the finished product in this vlog, however, the DIY will be in Wednesday's video. Also, would love to know how you guys are liking the structure of videos this year about the vlog on the weekend and then a centralized focused video on Wednesdays. There, like I said, there's going to be plan with me's, what I eat in a day, meal planning, cooking. They're going to encompass a lot of things, so I'm really excited. I also wanted to show you something I updated in the kitchen that some of you may have saw on Instagram. Artemis wallpaper makes really high quality wallpaper and it's pill and stick. And what I have noticed in 2021 is that there's gonna be a resurgence. We saw it towards the end of 2020 with like grass cloth and rattan like insets into furniture. Well, I'm not willing to butcher my cabinets for a DIY. However, I did know I wanted to create symmetry and I like the idea of it not being on every cabinet. So I chose these two there to like kind of showcase the range section of the kitchen. And then I did move that mirror. This happened last night, actually. Let me tell you why I did this. I thought the mirror could be large enough to go over the console table in the hallway, and it's large enough, but I forgot that I had already put a mirror on the table, so I'd already like taken it all down. But what I ended up doing was cutting a piece of this for those who don't know, there's like hideous mosaic tile, not hideous, I'm using a strong word. There's like a glass towel mosaic over the range, which I do not like. <laughs> I just don't like it. So I ended up taking another piece of that grass cloth paper and putting it over the back and then layering some cutting boards and I actually really like it. I mean, it's temporary until I decide what I wanna do there. Something is going to happen in this section of the house. It's probably one of my least favorite places. Uh, like, as far as design, I just don't love what's happening behind the range. Something is going to happen there this year. I just don't know what, but I think this is a great temporary fix for right now, and I actually really, really like it. So, it's working for me now, but we'll see. Also, lots of questions about the gold. Yes, I took the gold down, but that's because something is going to be happening there in the future. So, I have an accent for the hood happening. I'm listening to Taylor Swift, and just gonna do some light, light dusting, picking up, all the things. Oh, friends, so Steven and I ate lunch and then I'm DIYing some art that will be Wednesday's video, um, so stay tuned. It's so simple, can be so reasonable. Um, I'm gonna show you where I'm at right now with it. Right now, it doesn't look like much of anything. It is an old canvas that I had with joint compound on it. Um, I wanted to keep it really simple. There's just some like really cute arches, kind of something, uh, that was inspired by McGee & Co, but ended up taking on the way I wanted it to. And I didn't buy a single tool for it. I bought a $3 thing of joint compound, and now I'm just gonna let it dry. It'll be white when it dries, and then I'm gonna paint it and see how it turns out. But I'm really happy with it. It was so easy to do and takes minutes. And I'm not an artist in any capacity. So, I'm gonna let this dry, and then this is gonna be our piece of art for over that table in the hallway. So stay tuned for Wednesday's video, which will be a quick DIY on how to do that. All right, friends, so it is now like 2.30 on Sunday, and I really am just relaxing today. The 
joint compound on that painting is going to take a while to dry and then we're going to do some painting on it and all those things. That will be Wednesday's DIY, hopefully, if it turns out. Although we've had really good luck on DIYs. Steven is upstairs reading right now. He went and bought a nice piece of plexiglass and is going to cut it for that bar cabinet, which will look really good. And then it was just easier to get our hands on plexiglass right now, other than having a piece of glass cut. So we're just going with that option temporarily to get something in place. And the rest of Sunday is gonna be spent relaxing. I uh, go back to work in the office on Tuesday and yeah, some thoughts about that and thinking about how we navigate it and all of those things. So that will be on my mind and I wanna make sure that the rest of today and tomorrow I can just spend relaxing. And I would say we did a lot. <laughs> in this vlog, but I love it. And I hope you like the direction of the channel of a bunch of budget-friendly DIYs and making our homes everything we want them to be. I think we're all going to continue to see ourselves, even as things normalize, us just appreciating and spending more time in our homes. And not everything worked out perfectly this weekend, but all things were fixable. And that's true for DIYs. And that's true for life, my friends. We can do what we can and we do our very best. So I'm gonna spend the rest of today reading, relaxing, cooking dinner for Steven, although I have no clue what we're going to have. And I'm going to show you what I'm gonna start reading. If you wanna grab it and start reading it with me, I'm gonna start reading Outlawed. Uh, it's supposed to be fantastic and I'm excited about it. And it's a little bit of a different, I would have never selected this book. So I'm excited to dive in and read it and probably do most of that on tomorrow too, just relax. It's gonna be nice to have a day just to decompress. Since Vlogmas, I've been churning out content and DIYs either here or on Instagram. So like, I've been, I've been pushing hard. Also, I hope that you guys are liking some content just for Instagram as far as highlights and things like that. I'm really committed to making 2021 an opportunity to grow this channel and to have a lot of fun doing projects along the way. So my friends, I'm gonna sign off here and live my best life. And I hope that you do the exact same thing. I'm gonna end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be Wednesday. <laughs> but I'm actually filming it now. Bye-bye. Um,